their leg is constantly red. They've had two episodes of cellulitis and been given antibiotics. But unfortunately, the redness doesn't seem to be improving. Do you think they've got continuing infection? Well, it's possible, but it's not that likely. Now, cellulitis is a condition that we all need to take seriously. So cellulitis is an infection. It gets in through the skin. It causes redness swelling and if it's not treated then it can spread and it can cause serious health problems so people who have for instance lymphedema can be really really prone to getting cellulitis because things can't drain away but there are all sorts of ways that you can get cellulitis it's usually caused by a bacterial infection and the bacterial infection gets in through the skin there are lots and lots of different 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 types of bacteria, um, which can cause cellulitis. One of them I'm sure we've all heard of recently. That is, of course, group A strep, but there are lots of other bacterial infections. Now, having said that, it doesn't necessarily mean if the skin is still red, that it is caused by an ongoing infection. However, if you've got tenderness, if you're unwell in yourself, if things aren't getting better, and certainly if they're getting worse, then it is certainly something that you need to check out. But it can be caused by chronic inflammation rather than infection. So inflammation is swelling. It can be caused by infection, but it can be caused by all sorts of other factors as well. The infection, on the other hand, is a bacterial infection. So for instance, if you have if you've got a bacterial infection like cellulitis then it's very often painful and the skin will not just be red it may be hot it may be very tender to the touch and it can start off as a discoloration but that area will then often become swollen and the discoloration and swelling will often spread very very quickly if your skin tones lighter that's that discoloration will usually be red or pink but in darker skin tones it can seem like brownie dark brown i've got a lot of patients of african caribbean origin and in their case it can look gray or pale or purple for instance so it affects the skin but it's also affecting the tissues underneath and as i say the real key is the fact that it tends to spread so the redness the tenderness will often spread you'll often feel very unwell in yourself it's most common on your lower legs on your feet but it can spread more it can it can happen anywhere indeed um, but as I say, it's if you're feeling unwell in yourself with chills, feeling generally ill, feeling feverish, lightheaded, muscle aches, all that sort of thing, feeling generally sweaty or hot and cold all over one minute and then freezing cold the next. That's a sign that there is a spreading infection that should always be treated seriously. But if you've just got redness and it's better than it was you haven't got the same tenderness, you haven't got the same swelling, and you're not feeling unwell in yourself, the chances are it's probably inflammation rather than rather than infection. It's also worth pointing out, of course, that actually venous insufficiency, I know I've mentioned it before, but I'll probably be mentioning it quite a lot this evening, that can also cause red legs. Um, and that also needs to be assessed. 